All right, I for Telefell, Mr. Telefell TV. All right, we are talking Boosie. Boosie was a part of this very iconic lineup that I've talked about a couple times. What was on the lineup? It was the Migos. It was Boosie, GZ. It was a lot of legends on that. Meek was there. Gotti. It was a lot of legends. It was a, it was a big. It was a big show down in Biloxi, Mississippi. Shout out to Biloxi, Mississippi. All right, and. Um, Boosie ran into some trouble His guys, his security, his, his team They ran into some trouble when they were in the mall And Boosie has explained it as if though Police were just kind of messing with him Trying to bag him and his team in a corner They didn't want him in the stores Obviously Boosie is a well known rapper In Biloxi, Mississippi Doesn't see those type of artists every day So when Boosie comes to the, the mall Or whatever it is Obviously you know the, the fans are gonna They're gonna show up and show out Right, I don't know just how crazy it got, but I do understand how important Boosie is down south in, in places like Arkansas, Tennessee, uh, Mississippi. I understand his impact. Boosie is look. I won't go as far as to say that um, that he's Tupac like like he's saying, but that dude is a legend like, for real, for real. He is a down south legend, and I mean that. And um, Boosie's saying he's pretty much saying, look. These police officers didn't treat us right. They arrested a couple of my homeboys. Pepper sprayed them. There's footage everywhere if you haven't seen it. I guess I could link you in with a couple links. It's all over Instagram. Pepper spray his homeboys. Tried to pepper spray him. Um, kind of went inside his truck and investigated his, his van. And, and he said he's missing $100 million worth of jewelry. That's, that, that sounds crazy, all right? You just don't lose $100 million worth of jewelry. I'm going to need Boosie to recheck everything to make sure that jewelry is there. Make sure one of his homeboys ain't sneaking somewhere. I don't know if you lost $100 million. I don't know. I just know this. If I feel like I got wrong, right, I'm going to go to saying I lost everything. Everything was stolen because now I'm trying to taint your name because it looks like you tried to taint me first. So I don't know about that. We might have to question Boosie about that one. But the fact that he said he was wrong by the police, that's a serious, man. It's, it's a serious thing. A lot of these towns are not used to when an artist comes in. And with social media, what it is right now, these police officers don't know how to react to that much attention to a, probably a mall that doesn't get that on a regular basis. And that's where the, the, the conflict comes in, you know. And I don't even have an answer, a short-term solution for that. When, these, when people find out because of social media... And now the everyday big time rapper has three, four million followers. You think he don't got a couple hundred thousand followers from Mississippi that are willing to make a drive or pull up on to see Boosie? You got to we're entering a very dangerous time and social media. That picture. I need that. I need that picture. I need that video. I need that drop It's going to make things very interesting. And, um, and the police don't have the right to pepper spray anybody if they didn't do any wrong. Again, I don't know the full story, so you ain't gonna see me jump out the window for an artist, and you damn sure ain't gonna see me jump out the window for the police. I don't know the story. I don't. I wasn't there. All I'm doing is speculating here. I've seen both sides of it. I've seen 12 act a damn fool, and I've seen artists lie. Right now, the relationship between 12 and artists is, in the world really is ridiculous. I will say this. If 12 did wrong boost. All right all right when you have that power and you treat people you treat people like they're not an actual person or they don't mean as much to this world as another guy i'm gonna tell you what you're doing you're setting up police officers around this country you're setting them up for failure those stories when you hear crazy things happen in the cops it's going to keep happening if people don't feel like y'all using y'all power the correct way now i don't want any of that to happen but I'm telling you, this police to person relationship needs to get better. Nobody wins, right? The police don't feel protected. They don't feel safe around black people. And black people damn show because we are the ones that are at the mercy of somebody who's so-called quote-unquote authority. We're at their mercy in a, in a car, at a traffic stop. And, and we don't feel safe. So, all right, like stories like this, I, I just hope Boosie is telling the truth and his partners didn't do anything wrong or didn't come in the mall smelling like dope because once you put stories out there in the atmosphere they have a resounding effect and boosie has been an artist who's always made socially conscious music about the police and 
how they, they they use their power and everything like that i just would hope that an artist in his mid-30s like boosie knows that there's no turning around and these things do hinder the relationship between people and the police it hinders it more than what it already is so i would think boosie wouldn't use that and do that just for no reason i would think somebody like boosie would want no dealings with the police so that's where i tend to believe that boosie is you know might be telling the truth about this because he, he probably doesn't want any dealing with the police that's all we know right now i'll keep you updated my website is mrt.com relaunches march what is it what the hell am i talking about it relaunches april that's all we know that's all we know right now i'll keep you updated on this story my website is mrt.com releases april 15th this saturday we're gonna tune in we're gonna turn up we're gonna live it up thank y'all so much for the love y'all been showing me comment that april 15th in the comment section if you're rocking with the kid if you're loyal i'm out if you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand make sure you hit me up at booking at again that's booking at